Good morning, Spartans! Welcome back to another broadcast with K22SR. I'm Ellie Tesoro. And I'm Ashley Douglas. This month is filled with a bunch of fun events since we're coming to the end of this school year. Hey, Ashley, you know how this month is May? <laughs> yeah. Well, this month we celebrated May crowning, where we crowned our Heavenly Mother with flowers and honor her for what she has done for us. Mary has shown obedience and, and humility, and we can find those virtues in our Spartans today. She also showed the virtue of strength, and so did our basketball players this year. We want to congratulate our boys basketball team for a great season. Let's give a hand for our athletes. We would also like to wish our dan Spartan dance crew good luck on their competition on May 12th. They will be competing in the Allied Dance Force competition, and they have been working really hard to make this happen. Let's give a hand to Sir Thor and all students in the Spartans dance crew. Since our school year is coming to an end, our 8th graders have been practicing for their graduation. I'm really going to miss them. Now's the time to make memories with your friends, especially those who are graduating. I agree. I also heard they will be having their dinner dance. Apparently, their theme this year is Old Hollywood. That seems so fun and elegant. I hope they'll enjoy it. But do you know what else comes with the last few weeks of school? Graduation and promotionals? <laughs> Not yet. End of a year party? No exams. Oh, man. Wait, Ashley, I have a question for you. Sure, what is it? I'm really worried about my fourth quarter exams. Do you have any studying tips for me and everyone else? Hmm, I think I do. One thing to do is to stay hydrated and to have a good sleep schedule. Preferably 8 to 10 hours of sleep. Oh yeah, that's really important. I also think it's good to stay focused and not to procrastinate. Oh, some ideas also come to me when I think of studying is I always use my flashcards, rewrite re my notes, reread the material and lessons if I have questions, and maybe go to my teacher. But that's what I do. But everybody studies differently. That's smart. Thanks, Ellie. No problem, Ashley. Guess what, Spartans? What? As this school year comes to an end, we want to give our graduating class something special to remember. So, let's hand it over to our field reporter to see what we have in store for them. Hey Spartans, I'm Samantha Hilton, and today we will be interviewing some 8th grade teachers to see if they have a few words for our graduating class this year. I'm here with Mrs. Sopleto, the Honors Math 8 teacher. Hi Miss, do you have any words for our 8th graders? <laughs> Numbers, can I say? <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Seriously, um, congratulations. I know you went through a lot. Uh, you can tell the future eighth graders that. But I think you are prepared for high school, and I believe you can do very, very well. Believe in yourself. We believe in you. We wish you all the best. Good luck. Thank you, miss. Now we're in 7B with Mrs. Fernandez, the Math 8 regulars teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for our 8th graders? Okay, for the 8th graders, first of all, congratulations for your graduation. And I hope that when you reach your high school, you will do good or better in your math subject. If ever you need some uh, help in your math subject, you know where to find me, and I will be very much uh, uh, what they call this, very much willing to help you in your problems in math. Again, congratulations, everyone. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. <laughs> now I'm with Miss Rivera, the eighth grade language arts teacher. Hi, miss. Do you have any words for our eighth graders? Hello, yes. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of our eighth graders. Um, job well done to all of you guys who have worked very hard this past year. Um, I know that there have been struggles, but the struggles are 
not compared to all of the great things that you did this this year. Um, so I would just like to commend all of you. And when you go to high school, wherever you are, we want to remind you guys of the values um, and the virtues that you've learned throughout your time here at Santa Barbara and that you would carry them with you. And just remember that you always have a second family here at Santa Barbara. We're gonna miss you. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Now, I'm here with Miss M, the 8th grade social studies teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for our 8th graders? Yes, I would like to tell them good luck 8th grade and high school and to enjoy every moment in life because it will go by fast and don't be afraid to grow up too fast. Thank you, Miss. Now, we're in the library with Mr. Thor. He's the 8th grade computer and math teacher. Hi, sir. Do you have any words for our graduating class? Uh, for the graduating class, since this is my first year to have graduates, I am very thankful and honored to be part of your journey. And this might uh, be a goodbye, but a start of your journey. And I would like you to be always reminded that from St. Thomas Aquinas, it's better to uh, illuminate than to merely shine. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now we're in 4B with Mrs. Guevara, the 8A library teacher and your former religion teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for our graduates? Sure. Congratulations, 8th graders. You did it. And good luck to your new journey. Just remember, make good choices and be yourself. See you. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Now we're in 8A with Ms. Diaz, the 8A homeroom teacher and the 8th grade science teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for our 8th graders? Yes. Uh, congratulations, class of 2K24. Um, you've come a long way. And I'd like to say thank you for a wonderful year. Um, not just, you know, with each other, but also with us as your teachers. We've really enjoyed it. And I hope you'll come and visit us. Cherish the, the few days that you have with your classmates and with your teachers here. And make sure to say hi to me when you see me around. Thank you, Miss. Now we're in the art room with Misty Castro, the eighth grade art teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for the eighth graders? Okay, thank you, Sam. So congratulations, Patch 2024. It was a very creative and wonderful journey with you guys. I saw how you grow, not only in terms of artistry, but also in the way you relate with each other, how you interpret your artworks. I hope whatever you learned in our art class, you continue to develop them and share it to your later successes in life. So soar high with great confidence and color. Good luck to your next year in high school. Thank you, Miss. Now we're in the gym with Ms. Duenas, the eighth grade PE teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for the eighth graders? Well, I'm going to miss you guys, and it's been awesome working with you. My advice would be, be the change that you want to see in the world. Have courage to make a difference. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Now we're in the music room with Ms. Frankas, the eighth grade music teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for the graduates? Sure. Um, first of all, let me congratulate them. Congratulations to the class of 2K24. And I would like to say that whatever your dreams are, go for them. Just remember it will take hard work, but be willing to work hard and you can achieve what you set your heart to. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Now we're in 8B with Mrs. Cesaro, the eighth grade religion teacher and the 8B homeroom teacher. Hi, Miss. Do you have any words for the eighth graders? Okay, sure. Um, congratulations, class of 2K24. Uh, you've, you've made it, your commitment, your hard work. Hey, you have powered through and now you're here. Um, I'm gonna uh, have three meaningful sentences uh, to bid you off. Okay, goodbye. Number one, um, the best gift that the school gave to you as a Catholic school is Jesus. So continue to live for Jesus and live out your faith wherever high school you're going. Uh, number two, uh, you are made out of love. Hey, because you're got made in God's image and likeness. So continue to live in love and be a person of love to others. Number three, enjoy high school, but always make the right choice. Congratulations and again, it was a privilege to be your homeroom teacher and your religion teacher on your last year in Santa Barbara. 
Thank you, Miss. Congratulations to the class of 2K24. We're all going to miss you, and we hope you enjoyed this surprise. Back to you guys. That's all for today's broadcast, Spartans. This was Ashley Douglas and Ellie Tesoro speaking, and you're watching K22SR. Maybe make the like font bigger. No, I like the font. <laughs> That's all Let's for today's go. broadcast, Martin. This was Ashley Douglas and Eliana Tassar speaking. Good afternoon. And you're watching. Okay, twenty-two and da 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 do. Um. Good morning, Spartan. Welcome back to another <laughs> broadcast with K22SR. <laughs>